What's going on guys? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you another weekly technical talk video. Today is Friday. Um, it is November 23rd, 2018. Anybody new to these videos, I am going to do a full dive into the Forex markets, go over what happened this past week trading-wise, a um, little bit of news coverage, what's going on next week, and most importantly, we'll dive down and break down all the major currency pairs, all the U.S. dollar crosses, full technical analysis breakdown of all of them, as well as my watch list. This week, we have a very large watch list, um, a lot of potential setups going on next week, so that is what we'll be covering, returning subscribers and viewers, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. As always, leave your feedback. Throw a like button um, if you like what you see, and throw a comment if you got some feedback or just want to share any thoughts or anything on the video. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into all these pairs for you guys here. We have a holiday week coming to a close this week here in the U.S. We had Thanksgiving yesterday, and uh, pretty slow volatility in the markets between yesterday and today. Today is another slow trading day as um, a lot of people take off for the holidays. We also have Black Friday, big retail event, and uh, Cyber Monday next week, big um, online retail event. So big uh, weekend numbers-wise for the retail industries, and uh, all in all, just uh, close to another trading week here. We got a pretty nice coming up trading week next week. Um, that is what we'll dive into mostly in this video, see what we're looking for next week. But uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the charts and news and all right now and start diving into all of our topics and I'll see you guys in there. Alrighty, so starting off with the top and bottom performing currencies of the week, as you guys can see here, we have the Swiss franc, US dollar, Japanese yen, top three performers of the week, as well as the New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, Euro dollar, bottom three performers of the week. Decent moves here this week. You know, we have uh, one and a half percent about as our most moving pair, which is New Zealand dollar, and then all Australian dollars not too far behind. Um, not a crazy week, but we do have some decent moves this week. Um, another week here again where the stock markets and the equity markets around the world are really, really having an impact on the FX markets. We had continued sell-off this week in the stock markets, and when we see that, we see a flight to safety, what we call risk-on environment. Basically, investors pull their money out of riskier assets and go into safer haven assets that are lower returning but safer. And the Japanese yen, Swiss franc, are notoriously known as the safe haven currencies. When stocks are performing badly, you can expect the Japanese yen, Swiss franc, to be performing well. And the exact opposite holds true for Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. We had a sell-off in these two pairs this week. As we saw um, the sell the sell-off in the stock market, people were taking their money out of higher growth, riskier assets like New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar. Um, in the forex market, so continued risk on theme we have this year in the market this week in the markets as you guys can see with the performance of the pairs and as you guys can see news wise we had a pretty dull week this week on top of it being a holiday wasn't too much going on um, durable goods missed in the US a lot going on with Brexit negotiations still at uh, you know trying to figure out what they're going to do I know there's a meeting this Sunday about it but Theresa May is really just trying to pick up the pieces from everything falling apart and uh, the lack of support, we've got um, Parliament telling her one thing, her saying another thing, and it's just, it's going to be tough to come up with a conclusion here to what's going to happen. But we had CPI numbers this morning out of Canada, we had CPI strong beat, and then we had core retail sales with a miss. I think um, we should see some strengthening in the CAD next week, I think the CPI numbers are going to dominate the retail sales numbers, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye on what's going on with this pair next week. And as you guys can see for next week, the events are much, much more loaded. Um, we have EU summit, retail sales, central bank speakers all across the board, U.S. consumer confidence, uh, big news out of New Zealand with their financial stability report, as well as their governor, the central bank speaking. We got stress tests in the U.K. We've got preliminary GDP out of the U.S., business confidence out of New Zealand, private capital expenditure out of Aussie. Uh, FOMC meeting minutes Thursday, GDP out of Canada Friday. So we are just loaded across the board this week with news events. Should call for a really, really good and volatile trading week for us. So we will go ahead and dive into the charts now to see what's going on and what we'll be looking for. So starting with all of the US dollar, I mean, sorry, all of the index for all the major currencies. So we have the dollar, euro, yen, pound, Swiss franc, Canadian dollar, Aussie, New Zealand, um, all these indexes. We, uh, starting with the U.S. dollar, you can see we've been in this uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Recently, we set a higher high, pulled back. It wasn't a new higher low, but it was a retest of the prior higher low, retest prior structure, got a strong bullish engulfing bounce off of it. 
also forming a trend line here. Now again today on Friday, we have another strong bullish engulfing candle forming off of a little two-day pullback after that one. And as you guys can see, <clears throat> this resistance is acting pretty strongly. We are coming up to hit it now, so next week we will really want to wait and see if the dollar is able to break up and above this resistance. If it does, I'm very bullish on the dollar continuing to strengthen. If it doesn't, we could potentially see a little bit of a reversal pattern. Head and shoulders forming on this strong weekly resistance. So this is definitely a pair we want to keep an eye on. See if we're able to break up above this 97 resistance level again. And play it by ear from there. Euro dollar. This is the euro's currency. We have lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Prices pull back now. Once again, not to set a new lower high, but retesting the prior lower high and structure. And price sold off from there. And we're back now on this strong weekly support. And we want to see if price is able to continue to the downside, continue the trend, or if this inverted head and shoulders on this chart is going to play out if this support holds and price bounces. Japanese yen still respecting this strong weekly support. We've bounced and pretty much just remained range bound this week. We closed just about exactly where we opened on the week. So not too much, too much going on there, not too strong moves, but we do see... Um, Potential for this pair to break higher as we're now breaking the 50 SMA. This red trend line is the next barrier. I want to see price break and maybe we can reverse this downtrend um, and bounce off this strong weekly support here. Pound sitting on strong support as well. And another pair that really didn't move much this week. We opened here, closing here. As you can see, not much movement here. We're on a strong support level here at the bottom of where we've been range bound. So we'll see if price is able to break this support and continue that downtrend. Or if we're in fact going to bounce off this support and rally back to the top of the range again. Canadian dollar, as you guys can see, we have bounced off this strong support. Price made a lower high and sold off like we had predicted the beginning of the week. And has now made a couple day rally off of that support. So the real next resistance level I'm watching for is going to be uh, right around here. So we'll see if price rallies up to that and then is able to continue the downtrend and sell off from there. Um, as of right now, we're in a full downtrend, not looking for anything other than a downward move until we start seeing signs of the trend reversing, if that happens. But as of right now, we are looking for a trend continuation. And after a few day rally off of lows is a good opportunity to start looking for shorts again. So. That is one potential we could be looking for with the Canadian dollar, shorting it. Swiss franc, I think, is in a great position to sell off now. I think there's a great opportunity to look for short Swiss franc pairs this coming week. We set a lower low, bounced back up to retest the prior resistance area, and are showing weakness selling off of it from there now. I think this is a good opportunity to look for shorts with this pair, and we'll see what we can pair it up against to try to find something that... Um, Makes for a good setup and a high probability trade. Australian dollar still in this trend reversing phase, right? We bottomed out here, broke trend lines, SMA structure, everything. So a higher high, pulled back for a higher low, set another new higher high now, and is now pulling back to what could be retesting the prior higher low. But we want to be looking for buy opportunities, especially as we're coming near the 50 SMA. The 50 SMA is a great opportunity to look for support to be held and price to bounce and continue in the direction of this new trend. New Zealand dollar, you can see, has now begun to reject this resistance. Very strong resistance level here that we've been keeping an eye on. Um, price is now initially rejecting it, but I think we potentially could see more upside here. I think with enough of a trend reversal like we've seen here, taking it down to the daily, especially you'll be able to see it more. Um, you know, we broke all this structure, lower lows, lower highs. You can see a trend line being in there that's pretty much um, across all these highs that's broken and now price is moving higher. We did pull back this week, but this just gives us good opportunities to look for longs and get back into the direction of the new trend. So that's what I'll be doing for New Zealand dollar, looking for long opportunities for that pair. All right, so next up is the S&P 500. This is the US stock market index for the S&P 500. Uh, basically just an overall you know, feel for how the equity markets are performing in the U.S. The U.S. being the biggest economy in the world has a big effect on how the equity markets perform around the world. And as you guys have seen, especially in the last month or so, um, what happens in the effect in the equity markets and the stock markets have a very strong impact on the forex market. So that is certainly something we want to be aware of, something we want to pay attention to, and something we want to constantly be 
on the ball with and seeing what mode and market we are in. And as you guys can see, uh, we are sitting on a strong support here with the S&P 500. We did sell off again pretty strong this week. We got some mixed earnings coming out. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff still going on geopolitically with the house now becoming democratic and all kinds of stuff going on. So we um, are still waiting to see if we are going to get the Santa Claus rally, um, you know, the Christmas rally that we always get every year when all this, all the buying is stimulated by this holiday. Um, the holidays, really, there's not just Christmas, you know, you have Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all that, but... Um, Basically, this retail stimulation, there's tons of companies that hire hundreds and thousands of workers for this season. There's, uh, you know, people just go crazy blowing money on gifts and things of that nature. It's just a real huge cyclical increase in, in purchasing that typically creates a rally in the equity markets. Um, haven't seen it coming yet, and this is certainly something we want to keep an eye on because that could continue to lead to further bearish sell-off if we don't see this Santa Claus rally. Um, but there's still plenty of time. We could still see a rally. Price could still hold on this support and see a bounce. Maybe we double bottom here. We thought we were possibly seeing an inverted head and shoulders. Didn't play out. Right shoulder got in, violated, broke lower. Maybe now we see a double bottom off this strong weekly support. If price does break this low, I am certainly going to change my stance on the markets and think we are in much more bearish time than, um, right now. I'm thinking we're just in a pretty drastic correction phase. Um, however, this is very important, this chart, and we want to keep an eye on it in the near future. Also, we have gold. As you guys can see here, we have reversed this trend. We are now basically setting higher highs, higher lows. We'll see if this is able to come and set a higher high. If the stock markets go into a bear market and break that support I was talking about, I would expect to see a stronger gold. And if we respect that support and we go back to trending higher, I could expect to see a sell-off in gold. So another reason why these markets are all correlated and we want to know what's going on across the board. Oil continues to get destroyed. We went from almost $80 a barrel down to almost in the 40s a barrel in a matter of less than two months. So this, this oil market is just getting absolutely demolished. It's dragging the Canadian dollar down with it, and it's just getting crushed. So we want to keep an eye on oil. We want to see if we get any rallies. That could cause a nice, strong push to the CAD, especially with the CPI numbers. I think a strong CAD might be something coming with the fundamentals lining up. 52 is a very strong support here. That price has blown right through. Um, it's a weekly level, so we'll see if it pulls back off of this, backs off a little ways, and maybe we get a bounce. Um, before continuing into $40 a barrel territory. I think we're going to need a little bit of breathing room before we make that next big push into $40 a barrel. Could be heading there, but um, for right now, we want to wait and see and uh, get a little relief rally in this and see if, if price is able to pull back a little bit. So this now takes us over to the U.S. dollar crosses. Um, but just put up on my, I'm just putting up on my Instagram a post about this exact setup itself, core.fx on Instagram, C-O-R-E dot F-X is my Instagram if you want to follow it. But as you guys can see here, we are in a series of lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And what looks l like here, like it is a trend continuation move, right? We have a bearish engulfing off the retest of this prior structure, lower high, boom, price recovered a little bit. And now boom, another big bearish engulfing candle here. Lower time frame, you can see it's breaking this counter trend line, pullback trend line, moving lower. Great opportunity for us to join a trend continuation. However, this gray box down here is a very strong weekly zone if we look left. And what we could be seeing happening here is a inverted left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and price could reverse off of this strong weekly support that I will throw our weekly blue line on for you guys here. So um, two things we are looking to play out, either... We could look for a little bit of a bounce here and then try to catch this next move. Or you could wait for this rounding, support to hold, come up here, and then maybe play the break retest of this um, head and shoulders pattern. Or maybe you just want to get in on the right shoulder and try to ride it all the way. Or maybe you want to get in just right when it breaks the neckline and ride it all the way. Um, either way, there's a number of different plays we could wait and see here, but that is the most important thing right now. We are waiting to see what price does, what price um, shows us. So um, this is one setup we got going on here on the euro dollar I'll be watching this week. Could see a trend continuation move, could see a reversal pattern. Pound dollar sitting on weekly support still 
rallied up off it a little bit, but have now sold back down to it. So really, we just want to wait and see when this pair is able to break out of this range it's been in. Um, not really looking to trade it or have too much direction on it until we go one way or the other. Either we break this support and continue to the downside, or we bounce off this support and uh, push to the upside and, and let's see some structure being broken in this range being broken before I'll be looking for longs. So nothing really immediately going on with this pair, but we do want to keep an eye on it. Dollar CAD, uh, great, great trade we caught this week on it with that massive bullish candle there on Tuesday as the oil markets got crushed. Uh, we do full breakdowns in the core effect signal room, but as you guys can see here, here's where we had the pullback and then price exploded right to our three and a half to one risk to reward. Uh, beautiful, beautiful trade. Happened in a matter of few hours. Uh, we were able to bag almost 100 pips. So this was a real nice setup. Um, but now we have price pulling back again, right? So we went up and set this higher high. Price now pulled back to set another higher low on this zone again. So we'll wait and see if we're able to catch another pullback type long setup. I don't like all this crazy whipsawing. We got strong buy. And then price immediately shot all the way down lower and then immediately shot back up. And now it's coming back down lower again. So uh, not jumping into anything on here, but I do want to keep an eye on that pair. Dollar yen, still a little bit in, unsure what's going on. We had a trend reversing sell off here, broke below the 50 SMA, below this gray box, below structure. But this trend line held and is still holding now. We had a back to back bullish bounce off it, selling off a little bit, but it looks like the sell off's rejecting too. So ideally, I would like to wait and see if price is able to break this resistance. And then potentially we look for some kind of a long opportunity in this range here for something like that. All right. Take us over to dollar Swiss franc. This pair has had a pretty strong sell-off, but we are still um, bullish really in the grand scheme of things. Looking left, this is a very significant area right price has respected it and reacted to it a number of times price has pulled back to it now we have are seeing a bullish engulfing off of this and it's engulfing and breaking out of the prior three days trading range and pushing to the upside however this is a very strong um support now turn resistance that we're coming back up to retest at the dollar parity level so uh, we're gonna have to just wait and see what this one does and play it by ear to see what we are looking at aussie dollar us dollar Still in this trend changing phase, we've been pretty choppy with price breaking higher than selling off and breaking higher than selling off, but we're back down to our higher lows in this uptrend. Price above the 20 and the 50 SMA, they're both sloping upwards, 20 is closing in on price. Uh, looks like a good opportunity to look for longs. Now we just want to zoom in on the lower time frames and look for that right opportunity where confirmation is there and price looks like it's going to be heading our way. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, very similar story. Right, so we're trend reversed, higher highs, higher lows, pulling back off the higher high, setting a new higher low, but it could continue to pull back to this weekly level down here. The prior lower higher low, that would still hold true with the uptrend. Still keep me looking for longs, but all in all, I am still looking for long opportunities at this point. Just got to wait for the right confirmations. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, another one, similar story, right? We had a strong bullish move. Now we've been basing up above weekly support zone here. Um, now we just want to wait and see to get our right opportunity. Price is just range bound right now, right? We set a higher high, pull back for a higher low, set another higher high, pull back to retest the prior higher low. So we're just range bound here. Until price breaks out of this structure to the downside or the upside, uh, we're still in a range. But I'll be looking for longs if we get a nice rejection of the support and price starts heading back up. If the right setup shows itself, CAD yen. I like this pair because we reverse trend. We uh, started moving now to the downside with all of this bearishness in here. And then this sell-off was the one I really liked. Came down, broke all the structure, broke the trend line, broke the support zone. Pulled back now to retest it. I think we'll see price roll over to at least come back down to this strong intersection zone here. So we have a retest here, a break and retest of the support resistance and trend line. Now I want to see price make its way down to test this level of support and a trend line right so from major level to major level that's what we want to try to identify and that's the move i think we might be seeing out of cad yen pound new zealand broke below a very strong support level in a very strong downtrend had a few day rally pulled back to retest that level 
Now I'm looking for lower time frame confirmations for me that this pair is selling off and that we are looking to go back into a downtrend. This is something I will be updating all the core effects um, signal room users. There's a free trial, seven days for that in the link below if you guys want to give it a shot. Euro New Zealand dollar, very similar story. Strong downtrend, bounced off weekly support in a little bit of a range bound pattern. This is a bullish continuation pattern. So um, the context of that is not right for this downtrend. However, I do think if we're able to break that structure to the downside, that counter trend line, that will be enough confirmation for us to try to hop in on this trend before it, uh, you know, before it ends and before we miss the next move. Really nice setup here on Euro Aussie. As you guys can see, we have a beautiful double top here on the daily pattern. Nice trend line broken here as well. Price is triggered in this area for the short. Taking it to the hourly uh, daily chart, you can see it as well. Strong downtrend, right? In a very nice move lower. Bounced off strong weekly support. Pulled back. Retested this resistance on the 20 SMA. Got a strong bearish engulfing candle. Price rallied a little bit off that. Came back up to retest and now is continuing to sell off. And we are at the bottom of the um, neckline of this double top pattern. It's also a pretty significant area of support and resistance. So we'll wait and see if price is able to break through that, but that is a very beautiful setup that we have there on the Euro Aussie for a short opportunity. Euro CAD, uh, another pair that I really like, but the strong CAD coming in is probably gonna invalidate this. We broke out of this trend Broke the new higher high, broke structure, broke 50 SMA, broke trend line, higher high, pull back now to retest that strong zone. Now we could look for long opportunities if we see the sell off in the CAD, but if the CAD continues strong, it's going to blow right through our support and invalidate that setup. Euro Swiss franc, another nice short setup we got going here. We're below the SMAs, we've just broke structure, set a new lower low, and now we are in a basing pattern underneath of that low, right? We just went range bound here. Now we wanna wait and see if price is able to break the support. It's on a pretty strong level looking left. So it's gonna take a little bit for price to break it. It's already made a pretty decent move. So I don't think that we want to really be looking for a short yet, but we do want to look for price to do something like this. Maybe we pull back a little bit and then we catch the break to that downside. Then after it's gotten a little bit more exhaustion out of it, it's gotten a little more energy back and it's ready to make that next push lower. Aussie New Zealand. This is another one in a downtrend, lower low, it's pulling back. So I want to be looking for short opportunities now in this gray box or around a little bit above it as a little bit of a rally and correction could be what this pair needs to continue lower again. Aussie Swiss franc, nice pullback in an uptrend. This is where we want to look for long opportunities. So taking it to the lower time frames, you guys can see where we are looking for long opportunities off this gray area here. Uh, would like to see some bullish momentum come in and push that price higher to show that we are ready to continue this trending move. Aussie CAD, similar story. Reverse trend in a strong uptrend now. Blowing higher. Hit the 200 SMA. Rejected off of it. As you can see here, this is where it hit it with this triple top. Rejected off it here on the daily. We had a nice shooting star candle once price failed to break that 200 SMA. And then we've had back-to-back sell-off since. I think we might be in store for a little more of a sell-off down into this zone. And then again, if that CAD reverses and loses strength, that could be a nice long opportunity there. New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, similar story again. Strong uptrend after reversing that downtrend. Continued blowing higher blue right through the 200 SMA. Set a new higher high. Pull back. And now the 200 SMA is acting as support. So we could see price find support here. We could look for a new opportunity to go long and try to catch that next push higher. New Zealand Swiss franc, again, similar story. This one, another one we gotta watch for a head and shoulders pattern, right? Got a left shoulder, a head, a right shoulder, and price is continuing to fall off. It looks like this pair is more bearish than it is bullish, um, but we are respecting structure. We got a higher high, pull back to set a higher low on the prior higher low. So we are still respecting structure. We're still in an uptrend. We're above the 200 SMA, which is acting as support here. We're above the 50 and the 200. The 200 is crossing with the 20 right now. So it's a great opportunity for us to um, keep an eye out and look for a potential long, but not get too over um, excited about it because price could easily break through these levels and just sell off from there. Last but not least, CAD Swiss franc, another one where the CAD determines what this does. But we had a very strong breakout of this pattern. I told you guys I was looking for a rally to retest this area to then short it. 
So we have now our third day in a row of bullishness. Um, our third rally in a row here. Price is coming up to retest this level. Now we want to look for opportunities for price to find resistance, find an opportunity to short this pair and try to catch that next move to the downside as this is looking like it's setting up to be a beautiful break and retest of a strong level and out of a pattern. All right, guys, so that will do it for all the pairs I wanted to cover. Uh, be sure... Excuse me. Be sure to check out the links below in my uh, description if you guys want to get in a free week trial of the S Signal Room where we share educational content as well as our trade alerts. Um, and as always, guys, I'm always available. I've got a full course online if you guys are interested in learning more and learning how to analyze these markets like I do. Um, link below for that as well. Reach out to me anytime you guys need anything. Throw comments in the section if you guys uh, enjoy what you see. Or if you want to just share feedback, even if you don't enjoy what you see. I still like hearing what everybody has to say and trying to improve if it is not good. So I appreciate it, guys. I hope you all have an excellent weekend. I hope everybody had a great holiday. And I hope that we have an awesome trading week next week. Thank you all very much. Love and appreciate every single one of you guys. And I will catch you all next week.